let me start these awards right here, the 15th edition of the Exchange for Media News and Broadcasting Awards, this time in a slightly different manner. On this remarkable, on this remarkable occasion, we gather here to celebrate an individual who has devoted their entire life to the pursuit of excellence. It is with great honor that we present the Lifetime Achievement Award to someone who has not only left an indelible mark on their field, but have also inspired countless souls along the way. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in putting your hands together. I'll wait, I have all the time in the world. As we announce the winner, can we have the AV, please? We are Indian newspapers, we are unable to withstand the competition. We are well done, we are the longest and hopefully the happiest women that is for All Arabs make a day at the races in Hong Kong, an unforgettable experience. This is Sonia Varma in Srinagar for the World This Week. Good evening and welcome to the 9 o'clock news. I am Sonia Singh. Let's look at issues firstly like the population growth. What is about paying bribes? The Prime Minister flies to a Sam for his Rajya Sabha nomination. First, our top story, the Cabinet met tonight and put the seal on privatizing two of India's biggest public sector oil companies. Let's just, just add... The show where the day's biggest newsmakers share their insights. We don't manufacture controversies, we report them. Fair, balanced and a genuine debate. You don't have to shout to be heard. Fake news? What's that? Here's the news. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Sonia Singh, Editorial Director, NDTV. A Lifetime Achievement Award deserves a standing ovation. Can I request everyone to kindly stand up at their respective places and join us in applauding the exceptional effort, the inspiration that of course his life work will continue to shine as a beacon of inspiration for many, many further generations as well. The courage to pursue dreams and leaving systems that will rise towards greatness. So we are sitting here with us on stage and of course this moment will be absolutely incomplete. Yes. We don't want Sonia to retire. That's not the reason we've given her the lifetime achievement award. Thank you all. It is uh, extremely humbling to get this award and uh, it reminds me actually of uh, when I saw those clips of me as a 21 year old reporting for the world this week. Many of the young journalists here weren't born when the world this week started. But I began my career at a time when India had no independent news channels. Today we have over 400 news channels. So that, I have to say, has really been a lifetime. And the one thing journalism teaches you it is that you have many, many lifetimes of experience. When we started, we first broadcast on Doodarshan. We had to deliver tapes, which were broadcast five minutes later because live news wasn't allowed in India. So what a fantastic journey the Indian media and journalism has had. So even when we often look at what the problems are with Indian media, I think all of us need to applaud ourselves for how far we've actually come today. So I think Indian media is amongst the most independent, the most free, definitely the loudest, and the most vibrant in the world. So we need to be very, very proud of that. I'm going to keep this uh, short because I know journalists don't like listening to other people, but just to say, Though, though I'm not retiring, it is a time when I'm looking at getting off the 24-7 treadmill of news and focusing on special shows that look at principles that I think every journalist needs to remind themselves of today. Why do we do news? It's to inspire, it's to illuminate, and to inform. And if we're not doing those three things, we do an injustice to the people of India. I think those are the three basics, the gold standard, we all need to aspire to, and I'm so proud of the young generations I see today that will carry forward that legacy. I was very lucky, of course, uh, to join journalism and be mentored by my first bosses, Pranoy and Radhika. They taught me 99.9% .9 of what I know today. I'd like, of course, today to thank my husband, RPN, because behind every successful woman, there's a man, 
and he always believed in me or believes in me more than I believe in myself. My wonderful daughters, Yamini, Sohani and Ragini. Everything I do, I do it for them. But this award tonight, I dedicate to my mother, who's uh, critically ill as we speak. She's always been my biggest fan. Her strength, her support, and her inspirational legacy is why I'm here today. Thank you.